guys thank you so much for stopping by so I'm going to be talking about the darkest surrender by Gina Schulter and this is book number eight from the Lords of the Underworld series this is a book review if you haven't really gotten that I'm sorry I didn't say that right, in the, right off the bat but anyway I'm gonna give you information that I've gathered from goodreads.com and then I'll go from there so possessed by the demon of defeat Strider cannot lose a challenge without suffering Im unimaginable pain. For him, nothing stands in the way of, of victory until Kaya, an enchanting harpy, tempts him to the razor's edge of surrender. Known among her people as the, dis as the disappointment, Kaya must bring home the gold in the harpy games or die. Strider is a distraction she can't afford because he has an agenda of his own steal first prize an ancient godly artifact before the winner can be named but as the com competition heats up only one prize will matter the love neither had thought possible okay the genres that this particular book belongs to is paranormal paranormal i'm always messing that up and i'm sorry i am dyslexic so paranormal romance paranormal romance, demons, and fantasy. This was first published back in September 27, 2017, and this is what the cover looks like. It's some hot guy. <laughs> you can't even see his face. So, Strider. Um, Strider is just, as mentioned, he is possessed by the um, demon of defeat. So, He's very competitive and when he becomes or when he is put in a position that he is in a competition, he has to win. If he doesn't win, he suffers excruciating pain, which is horrible. So that's how he lives his life. Um, Kaya is introduced um, through Gwendolyn from, which book was that? Book three? No book four i think let me check book four is when gwendolyn first comes out yes book four so kaya is gwendolyn's sister um so here goes i love this book i enjoyed it so much um i love kaya i think kaya is badass she kicks ass. She is a hardcore. She's just awesome. I love her. I love I love badass women in especially in books and in life. But anyway, um so they're both they're both put in a position and I don't want to I never want to do any spoilers. So they're both put in a position in which um falling in love or having a relationship or being with somebody in a romantic sense was really kind of far away from what they were thinking of um so the journey and their path um to be a part of each other's lives is a really really good one it's very this book was definitely it made me laugh it was exciting there were really some um gut-wrenching moments from time to time it's very action-packed there is this crazy competition that welcomes immortals that might have already been a little spoiler there i didn't want to do that but i'm sorry um that will be the only one i enjoyed this book a lot a lot i really was surprised because from reading up to this point i wasn't very curious about um strider um there are definitely other lords that i preferred more but I, you know it wasn't their story yet so um it's number eight and i love the series so why not right so um one out of ten i would give this a 9.5 because scratch that i give this a 10. i love this story um the fact that i never expected a lot from these characters to begin with because i wasn't well, not these characters, more of Strider. I wasn't really very curious about Strider, so I guess that would be initially where I got the point five from. But now looking back um, really quickly, I 
love this story though so I think that's just that's a horrible way to rate it just because I wasn't curious about him I'm not gonna say that reading him in this book was not really a great thing because it, it is um, it shows a really great side of Strader and it makes you fall in love with him Kaya I was always very curious about her she was always like one of those characters that I was super curious but you know the books are really 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 focused more towards the lords of the underworld so her being put in a book as a lead female was just unexpected so as I was saying um it was um, unexpected as to when she would be put in a book and it was just not really not really something you'd be like it's Kaya's turn you know what I mean because just because the series is titled Lords of the Underworld that's just it um, did I want her to be um, the love interest of one of the Lords yes definitely because she's badass and she just seems like she's very interesting to me so again like I said just to rate this from 1 to 10 stars I would definitely rate it as 10 I love this book so much it was very enjoyable to read um, the characters are very well written they're very complex and they're very very interesting their personality is amazing um, the story is just like it makes me it, it like it makes my skin heated up and um, it gets me very very excited so I really love that and that's why it's a 10 um, I give it a two thumbs up of course and I do recommend this book if you've never heard of this book the series or Gina Schulter go ahead and feel free to pick this book up I would suggest you start from the first one though just because um, it's a series and when you go to this one there would be certain things and certain elements that would be like what's going on over there you know what's going on over there but if you're not one of those people like me that becomes like that, like I, I have to read from first book, if it's in a series, first, second, third, you know, in, in a specific order, because that would really like frustrate me. But if you're not one of those people, it can actually be, um, it can be okay to read it without the other ones, but I don't recommend that. I recommend getting the first, sec first book and then go to the second and the third and the fourth. Um, so that's just because I prefer that way that's why I recommend it that way I don't know how other people can do it in like different order I can't do that um, my husband is the complete opposite when like when we're watching a show and we have like all of the seasons sometimes he'll like randomly pick an episode and then next to that he like it will go from sometimes season five season two season six season three like it would be in a random order and then different episodes as well and it drives me crazy because there is a certain pattern and a continuance in a story so anyway i'm just not like that in a sense um i would recommend to read it that way i know it's my version but i would still recommend it to do it that way just because I don't know there's just there's just there's just um there's just a sequence I think and I think you're gonna like certain things will like certain things would be a little bit frustrating like for me if I read it that way certain things would be a little bit frustrating and certain things would be a little bit like confusing and you still have questions in the end and you won't even know which which book to reference those questions to right away. So that's why I would really recommend you get the first, second, you know, the previous books before number eight, before getting this, but I still recommend this a lot. So if you guys have any suggestions, questions, comments, especially in regards to this book and the series and the author, um, please, please feel free to down below. Um, if there are any books that you suggest that would be similar to this particular book the just the way it's written um the topic probably it has to be romance for me please suggest that and feel free to that down below because i would love to know what you guys would compare this to what you guys believe is similar context 
and content and i would love to read those if i haven't yet so feel free to chat down below thank you so much guys for stopping by and um, i'll see you next time bye Thank you so much for watching my video. Please uh, hit the like button, subscribe button, and the bell so you'll be notified whenever I do upload a new video. Don't forget to expand the description box because as much as possible, I always try to get coupons for you guys, discount codes, and other goodies uh, like that. Um, I also have my Twitter information, Instagram, Snapchat, and for business inquiries, I have my email there as well. Thank you guys, and I'll see you again next time. Bye.